We want to talk now about the cast and tease rod. This line and rod system are for dogs only, small, medium, and large dogs. Uh, we want to talk a little, t show you how to assemble this, put the line together through it so that you understand that and talk a little bit about that. But I also want to mention that each of our items come with instructions on how to use and assemble. We also have the video tutorials as part of this website, but we also will have all the directions in each package so that you know how to use our product. This will help. All right, the line. This is made out of a little bit of a stretch and give material. It's great for playing tug of war with your pet. I want to point out a couple of things. If you look at the end of this, you'll see one that has a rubber coated end, one that does not. The rubber coated end goes to the toy and the one that is not coated in rubber is actually the one that goes to the first eyelet of the rod. This is what we're going to start with. All right, let's make sure the line is all untangled before we begin here. Taking your cast and twitch rod, you're going to pinch that material together so that it will fit through the first eyelet. You're going to bring it all the way through and bringing in that rubber coated end as well. Pull it through that first eyelet so that it looks like so. All right. Taking the end that has the rubber coating on it, you're going to feed that up through this loop and you're going to just pull it all the way through. Now you have to take and, re and feed that rubber coated end back through the eyelet so that we can close this off and make a nice loop attachment and it will look like this. All right, let's quickly thread the rod. I'm just going to draw some line up between my thumb and first finger of my right hand and quickly thread this like so. Pull it through. The lines come in different lengths. They're all color coded and that also will help. As you get a little more experience, you want to probably start with the short, short lines first and then eventually graduate up to using the longer lines. And there we go. I have to pinch a little tightly to get that in through the top eyelet of the rod. All right, now we're ready to connect the toy. We've, uh, you'll see the commentary, or we've talked many times about what we are referring to as a double swivel loop. And that's what this is. This is a double swivel loop connector. And we're going to take, and I'm just going to pinch this end open. It just pinches open with your thumb and first finger. Slide it over the end, the rubber coated end. Close it back together, like so. And then you're going to take a toy, which is what we have here. I've got our large ball for large dogs. All of our toys come with a loop in the end of it. So it's all ready to go and put together. And you're just going to feed that through close it back together with your thumb and first finger and there you have it. Now we're ready to go out on the grass and play. Now this would not be something that you would want to use indoors. Well, if you value your furniture and your china, I wouldn't use it indoors. But here we are, we're ready to go and play. I'm holding right now in my hand the two-piece cast and tease rod. This rod has been, has been specifically designed to play with dogs, puppies, small, medium, and large sized dogs. We offer for this rod system the lines in many different lengths. We have it in 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14 foot. And depending on where you're at and how you want to use the age of your dog uh, will depend on what line you have on. Right now I have a four foot line on and this would be designed for, if, let's just say I want to stay sitting in a chair and not stand up, but I just have a small puppy, even a dog that I'm sitting in my house with. The two piece rod could be used outside, but primarily it's designed to use indoor. And with a shorter line on, you can just simply, we're just kind of teasing and, and uh, lifting and, and teasing the toy like this. And that would be the reason that you would want a shorter line. Another thing, you can still take this and do a play around the chair like so.
If you want to sit outside in your patio and you just want to relax but you want your pet to have just so much fun, that's why you would use the three, the four, and even the five foot lines. I now have a seven foot line in the, the cast and tease rod. The same things apply when using the shorter lines. If you still want to sit in a chair and use it, that's great. We'll just show you a little bit of technique here. Go around and around. By pumping your left hand up with the line, you can lower the or raise the toy like that. Or you can just let it roll on the grass. Very, very little effort. Remember that on this system you have to have a swivel loop, rather single or double, depending on the, the toy that you're using. Okay? Another thing that we want to uh, uh, suggest to you is that this is a nylon line. And when you are playing with your pet, you're going to have the, your first inclination will be is when the, the dog grabs it and runs, you're going to just want to run your finger around it like that to hold it. Well, you can't. It will hurt you if you do. Especially if you have a small dog, it's not a big deal. But those big dogs, a big lab would absolutely cut off the circulation to your hand. The same thing applies in wrapping it around a single a finger like this. So we're suggesting that you might pick up a, a leather glove of some type, a batting glove, a golf glove, a racquetball glove, something that will just protect your hand when you're, when you're playing with your pet. Okay. This now, the same principle applies now if we want to stand up now and you want to get some exercise with your pet, not just your pet, we'll stand up here and we'll just run you through some of the same technique. When you're here like this, same thing, you can actually let the whole line go and expand the distance that your pet has to run. You can turn around and run with your pet like this if you want. You can take the line back in your hand, bring it in and actually just cast it to your pet, like so, if you want to, like that. Or you can just dangle it here like this and tease him like this. All right, cast and tease rod seven foot. Ten foot line now attached to the cast and tease patio rod. The patio rod, outdoor rod, is a three piece rod. It is to be used primarily in the parks or out in yards that you have a little bit of room. Now, for those of us that have, well, for those that would have a long arm span, you could use a 12 foot line or a 14 foot line. A 10 foot line for my body height and arm length just about maxes out what I can do. Now, once again, you can play this with using with a pet just up and down, like so. Teasing, bouncing, moving, getting your dog excited about it. And let's just start the around the circle. If you want to exercise your pet and you want to just remain stationary, you can do that. But if you want to move around and see what your dog is doing, play the line, up and down, lift, bounce, you've got that. All right, hand position. Hand position is important. For balance on the rod, you may want to, I'm suggesting that you use your forefinger of your right hand like so and the thumb is wrapped around. Some of you, because of the weight of the toy and turning, you may want to just absolutely grip the rod tight like this. But I find if I put a little bit of finger position here, it, it, I get a little more stability and it works better for me. This is just going to have to be something that you figure out that works best for you. All right, same thing applies. Your dog takes it. Don't wrap the fingers around. Let the line wrap around your fingers. Don't let it wrap around your single finger. Make sure you use a glove, all right? Some, you can find it at any hardware store to, if, if you're finding that you're getting a little bit of uh, hand burn or rope burn. All right, it's time for you now to get out there, exercise your pet, and cast and tease.